Floyd Mayweather recently reacted to the concerning hospital footage of Mike Tyson, expressing alarm over Iron Mike's deteriorating health. Tyson's recent health issues, including a flare-up of an ulcer during a flight from Miami to Los Angeles, have prompted widespread speculation and concern within the boxing community. Mayweather had previously cautioned Jake Paul to withdraw from the scheduled bout with Tyson, warning of potential complications. The announcement of the postponement of the Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul boxing match by Netflix due to Tyson's health has sent shockwaves through the fight world. Reports indicate Tyson reassured fans via social media initially claiming readiness despite his health setback. However, as his condition worsened, ultimately leading to the cancellation of the July 20, 2024 bout, concerns mounted. Mayweather's candid assessment of Tyson's health underscores the seriousness of the situation, indicating Tyson's condition isn't improving. Fans hoping for the fight's eventual rescheduling may need to temper their expectations. Dr. Lawrence Kinski, a member of the American Gastroenterological Association, provided additional medical insights into Tyson's condition, shedding light on the ongoing health challenges faced by the boxing legend. I don't know how do you continue to put your body through intense training for this if you have an ulcer, if it's an ulcer you've got to respect it. The seven doctors closely involved in Mike's case warned that the athlete would suffer severe consequences if he proceeded with the fight. An untreated ulcer over time can erode deeper into the stomach and sometimes create an in the entire wall, and that's called a perforation. Returning to training would be Mike digging his own grave because a severe ulcer could potentially lead to emergency surgeries, which the athlete must avoid at all costs if he intends to compete this year. Mike's deteriorating health has caused a stir in the fight world, prompting a reaction from Floyd Mayweather. Adding to Mike's challenges is his intense training regimen aimed at preparing for the fight, which has been described as extreme. Despite looking exceptionally fit for his age of 57, closer observation reveals signs of exhaustion. Videos circulating online show him visibly struggling on a treadmill, raising concerns among fans. According to Tyson's doctors, the athlete's body has been increasingly sore since the early stages of training, with no signs of improvement. They recommend that he take a minimum of three to six weeks off to fully recover. Any return to training before that could exacerbate his discomfort and pain. Following the fight's postponement, Mike promptly reassured fans of his well-being. I want to thank my fans around the world for their support and understanding during this time. Unfortunately, due to my ulcer flare-up, I have been advised by my doctor to lighten my training for a few weeks to rest and recover. The former champion in the heavyweight division included, my body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s, and I will be back to my full training schedule soon, Jake Paul. This may have bought you some time, but in the end you will still be knocked out and out of boxing. For good, I appreciate everyone's patience and can't wait to deliver an unforgettable performance. Later this year, Tyson's remarks have been ambiguous up to this point, so I wouldn't expect the fight to happen anytime soon. In response to the postponement, Jake Paul released a viral video message. I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. I want Mike to be healthy. He says he still is going to knock me out and I bought myself some time. So Mike is still talking sh over there. The problem child had been anticipating a bout with Iron Mike for years, so losing this opportunity after coming so close is undoubtedly devastating for the boxer. The YouTuber turned boxer has claimed he would prove himself against one of the greatest boxers in history and establish himself as the top fighter in the game. However, this seems ambitious, because defeating a 57-year-old Mike Tyson won't elevate him significantly in the rankings, especially if he emerges victorious. Boxing fans have criticized Jake for agreeing to face Mike, who is well past his prime. It's seen as a questionable move on Jake's part, and now he's facing the consequences. Had he chosen to fight someone his own age and actively competing, the fight likely wouldn't have been canceled at the last minute due to health concerns. It's fortunate Jake has a plan B. I want to fight KSI, I want to fight Tommy Fury, and I think it needs to happen for the culture, all of them. KSI was always like, oh, my end goal is Jake, and to me it's like a side. It appears Jake Paul and his longtime rival KSI may finally settle their score in the ring soon. It began when a YouTuber tweeted at KSI, proposing they fight on July 20th instead. He wrote, Sees coach saying he has over 200 light bees right now, so no wait, excuses. Let's run it for July 20th and then Paul Tyson in October slash November. KSI responded by stating he couldn't fight Paul in July because he already has one lined up in August instead of you fighting an ope at the end of the year. No one wants to see this fight me in December instead, he wrote, and Paul responded. I just gave KSI 
and his forehead the opportunity again for July, he said he's fighting in August, cool on fighting in October, November. February, it is 200 loops MSG and MIC. Later, he posted on Twitter. Two fights in February, Jake Paul versus KSI, Logan Paul versus Day all with it. Well, these two are set to face off in February, leaving Paul's opponent for this year uncertain. It would be unwise for him to wait around for Mike, whose health indicates he might never step into the ring again, let alone later this year. At 58, father time has caught up with him, and hormone replacement therapies and supplements can only do so much. Jake still has a lineup of fighters eager to replace Mike, including Ryan Garcia, fresh off his career-defining victory against Devin Haney. While it didn't secure him a title, it did elevate him as one of the sport's rising stars. Ryan has already chosen his next opponent, but Jake quickly declined, citing ongoing efforts to derail the fight and target him. Someone like Ryan, amidst his career peak, shouldn't be fighting a YouTuber turned boxer. However, the lure of a significant payday is undeniable, especially amid rumors surrounding Ryan's potential use of steroids. A break from professional boxing and an exhibition match could be the solution to his problems. Speaking of big paydays, Floyd Mayweather also expressed interest in fighting Jake. Having faced a Paul brother before, Floyd understands their ability to generate buzz and sell fights. His ventures into exhibition boxing have been lucrative, effortlessly earning millions. As the former pound-for-pound -pound best boxer, Floyd remains a viable opponent for Jake, given his active status and minimal risk of health issues like Mike's. A matchup between Jake Paul and Floyd Mayweather would logically eclipse the appeal of the problem child facing Iron Mike.